Hey guys, if you're a new nine and just starting your GCSE, then hello! Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, first, most important thing that you need to do is to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends because GCSE is a lot of work. And sharing stuff with your friends is going to be a great, great way to help you get through. So if you're starting your GCSEs in year 9, you are really, really lucky. We have a lot of time until the end of year 11 when you're going to be sitting your exam. And you are in a great, great position starting now. Um, lots of things for us to talk about, lots of things for you to take into account. But one that I want to start with is really, really important. GCSE years, um, the time that you're going through at the moment is really, really stressful. And the most important thing um, I want you to focus on is looking after you. Looking after your mental health and looking after your physical health. Because you are not going to be able to do your GCSEs in, what, two and a half years if you have not been looking after yourself. So make sure you um, plan in time for your exercise and make sure you make that a priority. Make sure you plan in time for looking after your mental health and make that a priority. However you want to do that, whether that's you know, going and playing football or getting your nails done or sitting down and reading a book, make sure you find time to look after you. Give that as much priority as um, doing your homework, doing your maths homework, doing your science homework or whatever. It is so, so important. Now I mentioned reading like a couple of seconds ago. Again, reading is really, really important. Now I know a lot of you aren't going to be a massive fan of reading, but 15 minutes of reading a day has been shown to be able to improve your GCSE grades by like a whole grade. Now I'm going to start doing loads of book reviews, loads of books that I've read that I think you'll like, that I think are interesting, but please just pick up a book, it doesn't have to be like a science book, it can be like a cartoon, it can even be a magazine or whatever, but just 15 minutes reading a day, and I do not mean reading for Twitter, I mean like actual reading something physical or on your Kindle. Um, but please try and get at least 15 minutes reading in every single day. Now, three years or two and a half years is a long, long time. Stuff that you're going to be doing in lessons this week, stuff you're going to be doing in lessons next week, you're not going to come across again until the end of year 11. And that is a really, really long time. So the best thing, or one of the best things that you can do is make flashcards for every single lesson doesn't matter what subject it is just make like three or four different flashcards you can like color code them or whatever and then just put them in a pile and the next lesson make you know five more different flashcards whether it's you know verbs in French or keywords in science or units in physics just put them in a pile and then just take five from the top and just quiz yourself. Because you're going to need to keep going over and 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 stuff. Because you have a lot of subjects to get through. You are going to have a whole massive chunk of exams in like two and a half years time. And the, the sooner you start, the better your results are going to be. Now I say this every single year. And maybe one person will take me up on it, and thousands of you are just going to ignore me. And then when I ask, you know, at the end of year 11, what advice would you give people starting their GCSE? It would be, start revising as soon as you start the course. Every single year, all of the year 11's regrets leaving revision as late as they did. So please, start revising now. I'm going to say this to you at the beginning of year 10 and at the beginning of year 11 and the people that are ignoring me now are going to ignore me then and then they're going to be really really stressed and start manically revising the night before the exam. Do not start revising the night before the exam, start revising now and then it's going to build up and become like a long term thing in your brain. The best way you can start revising is by flashcards, love flashcards, don't just read stuff because that does not go in. Um, make sure you've got dedicated time, dedicated 
space to um, do your work in. Sort yourself out a little study timetable, that's really, really helpful. Loads and loads of practice is needed, so um, I'm going to be publishing loads of videos here. For more detailed practice, you can pop over to my uh, classroom channel, and there's going to be loads of really, really long videos going through stuff on there, or you can go and get one of the books from my website. Um, don't just write stuff that you've been doing recently, make sure you go over all of it. Um, there are a few changes to the GCSE now, um, so there's going to be core practicals, so it's really really important that whenever you do a practical that you pay attention to it, because it could come up in the exam, there's no coursework anymore. Um, what else do you need to know? I think that's it for year 9, we're in a really really good position if you're starting your GCSE in year 9, and you should be really really happy this is what you're doing. Um, yeah, I'm here to help you guys. Anything that you need, just let me know.